We're back here at Blue Water Marine. We've got a 2017, a newer uh, Minn Kota power drive that we're gonna be upgrading to the advanced GPS kit. Uh, we're gonna walk you through it and how to repair your remote and a couple of the features. Uh, so as you can see over here, what we've got here is this what, this is what comes with the kit. You got two different remote options. You got the advanced remote, the micro remote. Uh, with the 2017 to 2016, you're gonna receive this bottom housing. Uh, today we're working on a 2017 or newer, so we will not be installing this, but I'll kind of cover what you gotta do. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, it can be done at your home, uh, not many tools. Really all you need is a Phillips screwdriver to complete this. Um, so we'll get started here and then we'll go through the remotes and all that. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove this top cap. There's four screws, two in the front, two in the back. And be careful those like to fly out of there. So after you got your four screws removed, you'll see up here, you've got your hot and your ground. Uh, be sure this is all disconnected from your power of your boat. That way, no arcing or shorting it out. So you'll remove your blue little cover here and you'll disconnect as so and disconnect as so. And at this point, if you got a 2017, 2007 to 2016, the Power Drive V2, you're gonna come around here. There's a Phillips screw here. And then a nut, you can, the nut holds itself until it gets so far, and then you'll just put your finger, unscrew it, and then this cap will lift off, and then you'll put your cap. And the reason is the 2007, 2016, the bottom had advanced GPS head. So one other thing we got to do is remove this horseshoe. If it's a V2, it'll have a snap. And that's why you'll receive a new horseshoe with your, uh, and this just pulls out like so. And then the next step I like to take is we need to pull our power, our side plates off. There's just two screws on each side. This one, you can see it won't come all the way off because it's threaded through the wire harness. You can just leave dangling. This other side will come completely off. You can set it, set it to the side. And then you can see there's two snaps. You just push in and that removes your center housing. So I like to have the trolling motor like this before I install my new advanced GPS head. It'll come just like this. Uh, this is your ethernet cord if you're gonna connect this advanced GPS to the Humminbird graph. That's compatible. Take that out. And then you've got your main cords. So once we get all that, so now we're ready to run it through where we remove that horseshoe. You'll run your, your wires off your iPilot through there. And then this is your ethernet cord. You wanna run it through there because the metal on it can interfere with your spot lock and GPS functions. And then you wanna take your horseshoe and you're going to line these wires in through there. And then it clips down 
once you get the cl front clip in, it'll lay just like that. Then at this point, it's when you want to put your screws in. And you can lay this over. And then we've got to connect our main power wires. You want these to be twisted as so, and these to be twisted as much as possible. Cuts down on interference. So make sure you've got these blue covers where they're covering any metal off of those. So at this point, you want to tuck this down as much as possible. And then we can secure our new advanced GPS head. So now you'll secure it with the four screws. So now at this point, I want to run my wire down through the cool cord. You want it to come out the bottom and so, pull all your slack out. So one question we get a lot, we get a lot of people call saying that their new head's not working. So at this point, you're going to disconnect the black and white wires. They're just a male and female end. And so these two wires will be free. I suggest heat shrinking them. That way there's no corrosion and you don't have any open wires. So with our new advanced GPS, we're going to hook into the wire coming through the cover to the steering motor because now your advanced GPS head sends the signal to the steering motor to turn. So you want to remove this and then route your wires through there. There's there's a hole for just for this new wire. So you see, we got it routed through there. Now at this point, you're ready to set your cap. Make sure that you've got it all. So, and watch this wire up front because you want it to come through there. And then if you hear that snap, and that means you've got two clips right there. So you've got that all set. So, <clears throat> one thing, once you upgrade to this advanced GPS, you do lose your foot pedal function because your remote is now, your, takes over your foot pedal and gives all the commands to the motor. So you will have to disconnect your foot pedal. Then you will connect the new advanced GPS head into it. At this point, we've got our advanced GPS all hooked up, and all we've got to do is put our uh, side plates on. Just simple, the two screws. So at this point, we're ready for function. If you purchase the micro remote, we get a lot of calls on how to pair this. And I'm gonna show you how. It's very simple. It's just very confusing because it does not, this kit does not come with instructions. So we're gonna put our power on. You'll hear the power to the head. 
As you can see up here, there's a pair button. I press it, you get an audible. So on this new micro remote, you can see the rabbit and your autopilot. You're gonna want to hold that pair button and get that audible. And then simultaneously, you wanna hold these two buttons down. So when the audible leave, you hear the three beeps and the audible leaves, that means we are a controller sync. So as you can see, we got our steering functions and you got your prop. It just, you've got your spot lock. So we went through one of the options for your advanced GPS kit, which is the micro remote. Uh, the next option is you can get it with the advanced GPS remote. Uh, I personally like this one because as you can see with the micro, all you can tell is audible on your plus and minus. Uh, we'll go through the advanced GPS. So on the side, you'll have your pa power button. You'll, pr you'll press it and then you'll hit over to agree with their operating terms. And then you're gonna hit these three, the three lines, that's your menu. You're gonna scroll down until you see Bluetooth. And then you're gonna hit pair remote. So it's the same thing. We're gonna hold down until we hear that audible. And then on our remote, we're gonna hit the arrow to pair it. And then we'll hit it one more time. So you hear the three beeps, we're now connected. So as you can see, with this advanced remote, the features I really like, you've got your 7.5, that's your prop speed. If I turn it on right now with your prop, that's how fast we're going. As you can see, it go down and you turn it off. You got your spot lock. You've got your autopilot and then you've got your cruise control, which will keep you at a certain speed that you set it at. So kick it off. This advanced GPS is, took away two options. You, when, when an iPilot came out, you got iPilot and iPilot link. Now, this is what, if you buy a new motor today, you get the advanced GPS, which is what iLink was with a few extra features. Uh, so you got your ethernet there. Like I said, you can connect to any Helix with the networking. It has to have a like G4N, G3N, G2N. As long as it has that N, you can connect ethernet, follow contour lines, depths, and so forth. You can actually operate your motor using your Hummingbird. Uh, one other cool thing that you can do is they've got the uh, One Boat Network app. You can actually operate this motor from that application. I love that when you get your advanced GPS, pair it to your Bluetooth on your phone, and then operate your motor from that app using your phone. Thanks for watching our video on how to install this advanced GPS system. If you like our content, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks.